Hello again guys, Pompey Picker back again. So today I have in front of me um, a special tool that was lent to me by my good friend Lockpicker69. Um, this is the Chris Evans curtain pick set and uh, like I say it was lent to me. Um, so I just thought I'd show you what uh what we get for uh for your money uh so basically you have the five and seven gauge uh tension tool and you get these pins that uh that you grease up and they sit in They sit in the little hole in the uh, tensioner. Um, this little bar has little serrations on it. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, yeah, it's got little serrations on it so it doesn't slip from the uh, tension tool. So that slots into there and uh, gives you your leverage for, for tension um, you get your little pot of grease as I say for the for the pins um, you get your pick wheel which uh, your wire sits in and you get the allen key which tightens up and you've got your pick wheel and uh, pick wire so you get a left and right pick wire awesomely made and finished pick wire there let's say left and right well made uh, well made set of uh, wires there so yeah um as I say, I, I've, I, I borrowed this from uh, Lockpicker69 and um, uh, I'm going to give it a go on a, I have a uh, Era Fortress. Uh, now I have had a go at, at picking the Era Fortress and I wasn't having much luck at all. Um, couldn't for the life of me figure out what, why... Uh, I wasn't having much luck. And then I thought I'd uh, quickly have a look at some of Chris's videos. And on there, uh, on one of his videos, he was talking about the Era Fortress. And I didn't know that you actually needed a, uh, a Fortress uh, pick wire. So these wires, although they're probably for majority of uh, curtain, curtain locks, um, they're not quite right for the era fortress so um yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna load up the uh five gauge just a little bit of grease in the uh in the uh pinhole and just pop in the Pop in, pop in the pin. And um, we'll put our bar through. Uh, go in that direction, I think. And uh, yeah, as I say, the um, I managed to fish out of one of my old wires from a, from a set that uh, I've got, which I don't use much, um, uh, as I'm not the greatest uh, curtain picker in the world. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty poor, to be honest. But um, So this is in no way uh, a critique on these tools because I, I'm definitely not qualified enough uh, to, to do such a thing to these tools, but I just wanted to show you how they work really um so let's pop that out of the way and 
we will just pop that up there. Let's uh, see if we get a better view. Uh, maybe that might work. Okie dokie. So yeah, like I say, um, couldn't pick it for, for love nor money. Couldn't work out why. Looked at Chris's videos. Has an awesome amount of videos um, uh, talking about uh, different types of locks and so on. And like I say, on the Fortress, you need a different wire. Um, and I've, I found out that this wire actually works, which is an old wire. Anyhow, um, enough of the waffle. And I'll pop the tensioner in make sure the wires up tight all the way in and around we go so you can see that Okay, yeah, so uh, also whilst watching uh, Chris's videos, there was a, a few tips on tensioning as well, which um, which I managed to uh, pick up on. Uh, so let's just go through the pack. Uh, looking for a binding lever. So there's nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three, nothing on four. And we go all the way to the back to five. Slight bit of uh, so five is more or less a, a zero zero lift. I think uh, just reset that. I think it's pretty much uh, in the gate straight away. I can feel that. So let's uh, let's come back again and work our way through. Nothing on one, two, three, four. Slight bit of binding on four. I think I may have overset four. Five's okay. Was okay, so I'm going to come back to three, and I'm just pulsing on the uh, on the tensioner. I think that's three. Let's check them again. Five, four, three. I think they're all in the gate. Uh, let's come back. Let's just slip under three because it's pretty low. Um, again, pulsing on the tension. I think two's in. So that just leaves one. And voila. Open. So yeah, there's the little technique on, on pulsing on the tension, which I picked up uh, on one of Chris's videos. It just helps the as you're lifting the lever for it to slide past the just slides past the false gates gradually and um yeah so there we go the uh era fortress picked with the chris evans uh curtain set uh, one thing i did want to say actually was um irrelevant of whose uh picks you buy be it chris's um gj's uh ICL, Andy Mac. It doesn't really matter who's who picks you or you're more inclined to, to buy. But um one thing I would like to say is you, you really do need to put the time in on um learning how to use the tools that you buy. Um it's not a case of just buying a tool and thinking it's gonna open a lock straight away. You really do have to um uh, do a little bit of research and, and practice um, and practice and practice and practice. So uh, 
yeah that's one thing i've 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 sort of realized i've had to do more of lately um i say i think i spent about four to five hours practicing with this lock before i actually managed to work out how to open it um but yeah let's let's uh let's let's have a qu little quick look inside um and see see what we've got gates just a little notch on that same again on lever two lever three a little notch in the in the bottom there slight little notch there so if you overlift that one, you, you could get stuck in that one. And lever four, same again. Tiny little notch on the bottom there. Could cause you problems. And lever five. Exactly the same again, little, little notch. Right on the bottom there. Let's have a look how lever five was sitting on the uh, sitting in the lock because yeah, it's right, literally right on the curtain, sitting right down there, and say so it's a very, it was a very minimal lift. Literally uh, putting the wire, putting the wire in, more or less. But anyway, guys, yeah, um, that's the uh, Chris Evans curtain pick set on a Era Fortress. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe, and I'll speak to you soon.